Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with another Reddit story for you. This one is Am I the Astronaut? My wife leaves every party we attend super early and I'm fed up. Hey all, I was hoping Reddit could give me some insight. First, a bunch of context. Six years ago, I moved to this city. My wife bought her house and moved up here first. When my contract at the time was up, I followed her out here. The city is two hours away. I've got no friends of my own up here. This year has been interesting. There were three weddings, all of which my wife has been in. This is in addition to a trip to Ireland and a trip to Italy. Finally, I went from drinking every day to only drinking when I've got an excuse to drink, like at a party. It's been a struggle, but I've managed to get my alcoholism wrangled down to social drinking. On to the issue. In Ireland, we paid to do a pub crawl. The guide was fun and funny, and the other guests were fun too. We left at 9 p.m. after being out for two hours. I wasn't even feeling a buzz yet. That crawl was supposed to go until 1 a.m. I was upset, but swallowed my feelings at the hotel bar instead. At her friend's wedding in Italy, we were the first to leave. I spoke to the rest of the guests the following morning to find out nearly everyone else stayed out until 3 a.m. At our own wedding three years ago, she retreated to the bridal suite after two hours and did not come out. This was at 7 p.m. When the last dance was called later that night, I had to convince her to come out and dance at my own wedding. Then there was this Saturday. While she's been out doing bachelorette parties, I've not been able to go out and be social all year. So I was especially excited about this party. She seems fine staying out when I'm not there. Ooh, that's an important note. She goes to bachelorette party and does stay out. When she's with you, she wants to go home early. The host included me in a group costume. I spent 100 bucks on this costume, spent an hour on my makeup. As soon as the group photo was taken at 11 p.m., wife says it's time to go. Her best friend looked so hurt and confused. I doubt my wife even noticed. It feels like she was just waiting for that photo to be taken. The last guest of the party arrived five minutes before we left. In the car on the way home, we had an argument. I never get to leave the house and be social. Her rebuttal was, well, I don't force you to, go, I don't force you to sit alone. Go out with your friends. My reply was, what friends? The ones I left in hometown? You left the pub crawl early. You left Olivia's wedding early. If it wasn't for the optics, you probably would have left our own wedding early. Just for once, I'd like to not be the first people leaving a party. Look at my costume. It took me an hour to get ready, and this and this will take me an hour to get off my skin. Do you think I'm happy about leaving after three hours? I'm so desperate for social interaction, but I'm so torn. She's upset by what I said, but... And I can't help but feel that I'm in the wrong. I feel like a monkey's paw wish. You get the prettiest witch at the party, but you'll always be the first to leave. A monkey's paw wish? I, I do not know. I have not heard of that before. A monkey's paw wish. You get the prettiest witch at the party, but you'll always be the first to leave. I, this is... Okay, so the question initially was, am I the astronaut? My wife leaves every party we attend super early and I'm fed up. So I'm torn on this as well because first, the whole she's fine staying out late with her friends but never wants to stay out late while I'm here or while I'm with her, that's concerning. Maybe she struggles to have fun with you. Okay. She wants to leave before he gets hammered and embarrasses both of them and she knows... One way to keep it under control, prevent that from happening, is just going home early. Okay. So the way that he presented this kept these two topics separate. And it was pretty clear now why that was done. Um, but it did trick me into taking in two different chunks of information and not connecting the dots in it until afterward. Until somebody else said it. Until Candy Thunder and Tony Sparks said it. They were like, no. It's not that she doesn't have fun with him. She's trying to get home before he gets pissed drunk. Oh, yeah, he did in the very beginning be like, oh, by the way, working on my alcoholism. And then, like, why, why can't she have fun with me? Um, <clears throat> aside from that, which is an obvious issue that he has to connect the dots on, or she may have to communicate to him and make very clear why she's doing this for him to understand because he's taking it personally right now. Like, she just doesn't want to have fun with him. Or maybe he knows and he's just in denial about it. Uh, and it, no matter what... Even if that wasn't an issue in this scenario, I would say you cannot put the weight of your happiness on your partner. You cannot. The brunt of, of your happiness, you are on the hook for. Your partner is not. It's not their duty to fulfill your happiness. It's a bonus if they do, but they have to worry about themselves as well. And when you put the weight of all your happiness on your partner, it becomes a very dangerous game. It is not fair to them for you to do that. 
So in, in this case, even if the alcohol wasn't an issue at all, I would say, I would say, look, it's on you to make new friends. And I know it's, it's easy to say, right? But it sounds like she did and she can't make them for you except connect dots through people she knows. So it's on you to, to start growing connections there and you can't punish your partner for it. But since alcohol is part of the issue, uh, you got to understand but if he's in denial about this, what's going to connect those dots? Magic drop. That's right. This is where she already lived. I still think it's on you. Tell him why, be honest, or you sent your, since your marriage to turmoil. And maybe she has, and maybe this is part of the denial part of it. But if she hasn't, I think she's got to make that perfectly clear. At some point, and at some point, he's got to communicate that his, his feelings are hurt here. And that's the perfect opportunity for her to say, well, don't you realize why I'm doing this? Don't you? Don't you? Ladies and gents, we get her once again. The Candy Thunder. Um, I, I will say that I was, my response is going to be based on the fact that I was in a relationship with someone who was an alcoholic. Um, but, and he's recovered now, he's, he's healthy. Um, but I think he will tell you that there is no, like he's completely, he completely abstains from alcohol. There is no alcohol in his life. Um, because he knows that there's like, it's so easy to fall back into it. So I don't understand if you have a problem with alcohol, if you consider you yourself to be an alcoholic, why social drinking is accepted. I mean, it's a lifelong thing, you know, like it never goes away. It alters your brain. Um, so I, I, in my opinion, this woman has trauma from him being an alcoholic and, and this is conjecture, but it, she's wanting like, I've been embarrassed. I've been like trying to hide it. I've, you know, I've done things that to hide it and to not accept it and to feel like it's not a problem, but it was always a problem. Um, and so I think socially, like, if you have a problem with alcohol, you can't be a social drinker. Um, but I also feel like the wife sucks too, because if you're going to choose to be with somebody who's recovering and who has this thing, um, you need to communicate with that person on why you're leaving early or why you don't want to be there. And maybe she did and he's not including that. But and he's just painting it as a this is what's happening, not the part where they communicated. Um, but I mean, you can't say I I have a problem with alcoholism, but now I'm I'm better. I'm just a social drinker like that's those are, those two things can't exist. Um, so I think when he goes out and he's probably drinking too much or getting too too far gone and she doesn't want to deal with it. But I also don't understand the leaving her own wedding thing. Like that's also very weird, which is why I think yeah. it's an ESH because I think, I don't know, why would you marry someone if you're not going to understand that they have this issue? Um, and that issue is going to take constant work every day for the rest of their lives. But why, why leave your wedding after two hours for, at the reception and go to bed? At there's, a, there's another part or could be another layer to this actually there can't be uh because because she stays out late with her friends sans that if that wasn't an issue and maybe it isn't maybe just says it is um i would say that she may have a very limited social battery you know what i mean it may be that she she gets social mm -hmm. exhaustion really quickly which happens to a lot of people mm -hmm. in two and three hours doesn't sound like a lot to a guy who likes to stay out all night and party but so, for somebody who has like social anxiety that's a huge amount of time right so if she had It's also that, a huge amount of time if you're having to babysit someone and you're worried that oh they're going God. to get too drunk. That's a lot of time. And so at the- In like DD done, time, that is a lot of time. And somebody did say, um, he said he was drinking for three hours and wasn't even buzzed. If, you, if you're drinking for three hours, like drinking, drinking for three hours, um, and you're not buzzed, like I feel like that's a, I don't know, Tony, you can tell us better, but- we aren't really drinking. I don't mean that as in like an alcohol thing. I mean, it's fake. It's, 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 I mean, like he drinks more than we I do. I could just see the Wilson kind of view Sorry, here, and it was this. I don't mean that. I just, here. yeah, and and like I said, my oh shit, my <laughs> I could not drink for three hours. I'd be. Some, I'd be face down. Like I'm. That's we'd like, be at home passed out yeah. watching a show. But right I don't know. Like I. I've been on the other part of this and it is a heavy place to be in. So maybe, but again, you can't marry someone knowing that they have this problem and then treat them like shit. Like they have to find some way to work this out or else this, this marriage is yep. just doomed. Yep. Here they are. <laughs> <sighs> 
Right? Benadryl makes me feel loopy. So I don't know. No, I didn't mean that isn't a Tony just drinks more than we do, so I feel like he could weigh in on the three hour thing. Yeah. Not because Tony yeah, has a like drinking problem. Have a buzz going after well, three hours. Uh, you have you a, don't buzz. Have a buzz going after three hours. You have I'll a problem. You okay. Or, there you're, you go. or you're playing pace car there because you, you expect it to be Call a long Ted. night. Tony Spark is jumping in. Well, first off, after three hours, yeah. Whoa. I agree with that you should have a oh, it just went really fast. Um, but I I mean, I kind of agree a little bit with the everyone sucks here because she's not communicating with him at what the real problem is because right. she's just wanting to leave early and not saying why she wants to leave early. And like you said, he's feeling hurt because he thinks that she just doesn't want to spend time with him and doesn't want to be out and be social. But when she goes out with her friends, she can be social, but also she doesn't have to worry about him doing something to embarrass her or embarrass mm-hmm. them. True. Yeah. So that's why she can be out. And maybe that's why that's the escape for her of getting to have fun. Because when they go to these social functions together, she can't have that fun because she's always like on guard of what's going to happen. Yeah. She's babysitting. She knows that there's a ticking, like there's a time, a countdown of when they have to go. Right. Because she can probably see it, him start to drink more yeah. and more and more. And be like, she's like, we're go. at phase three. I only got 15 mm. minutes, y'all. No. We're at phase three. Someone said, uh, <laughs> Three hours, just curious, have you ever drank with people in the military? Uh, my my parents were in, I mean, my dad was in the military, but my parents weren't big drinkers either, so it wasn't a thing for us. 